Hey guys, Kate here. Today on this video, I am going to make a monster tail made, made up by my cousin Jessica. Inspired by me. It's an improved rickety snowflake. So yeah. And you can make it on the loom. Or you can make it on the monster too. It's a tiny loom. Six dollars at Michael's. You could buy both of them at Michael's. So what you do is you want to take your loom, take this, and place it down like that. You want to take another rubber band. Make another figure eight and place it down like that. Now you take another one. And this is called the monster tail. So it's a bracelet called the monster tail. And then take another one. Make it in another figure eight. Place it down like this. So all of your bands should look like that. There. Now what you want to do, is, since it's like this, you take another band, place it in the same order you placed all of them. So it was like. That just place another one on top of all of them in the same order you place them. You have to do this three times. On. There should be three rubber bands total on each. So I bring this down. So I have some room. Then we just do it one last time. And here we go. Here. And then we grab another rubber band, put it like that, and then the last one. Now you get your looping stick wherever mine went. Yes, mine is right here. So what you want to do is now what you want to do is just take the last one from the outside. You don't go inside the peg. You just go outside. It doesn't matter what order. You just take it and flip it over and let go. Take it, flip it over, let go. Take it, flip it over, let go. Take it, flip it over, and let go. Take it, flip it over, let go. And finally, take it over and let go. You want to push all of that down and do it again. It you now you place it again and also again. And now you put this here and then take what? Take what? Take, flip, take, and flip, take, and flip, and take, and flip. So there we have it. You just want to keep repeating all those steps I told you, and you shall have the monster tail. You shall have them on too. So this is how it should look like when you're done. So that's all for now of the Rainbow Loom tutorials. See ya!